we deal a little bit of damage. But I mean, this will be a big board, man. I mean, that's way bigger board than the last turn. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today Orzov deck again because I really wanted to make a different type of deck with Orzov full blown control and I finally, I think I got it to work because I've been going through three different types of decks and none of them worked and I scrapped all of them. So yeah, that's my fourth deck in a row and I think this is the one that works. Uh, so you will see a lot of planeswalkers, a lot of removal, a lot of sweepers. And don't forget Virtue of Loyalty, the permanent side, will put counter on, for example, Restless Fortress or your Mirex because this becomes a creature until end of turn. So it's still a creature at the end step. We have some mana rocks, so we kinda want to ramp into our planeswalkers. This is also reason Kaya is not as expensive as usually. Thanks to Celestus we can uh, cycle cutdowns and all the bad cards for the matchup. This is our planeswalkers removal, this is our creature removal. So that's it, <laughs> let's go into games and guys do not forget to subscribe. If you want to help hit 10,000 subscribers, the huge milestone, you can be a part of it and I would be absolutely grateful. So with that being said, let's go into the games. I really hope you will enjoy. I'm a little bit tired but I think we did a Pretty decent job in some games, so have fun guys. Uh, let's go with a Gamjo on this turn, because we might need this Mirex for a black or a second black mana. And let's see if that's band control, which is extremely rare, or is it five colored control, which is pretty common. I don't see it much, but it's definitely here. All right, we know the Atraxa manas here, which means there is a four Atraxa in the deck. He's not playing anything here. And that's the ley line probably. He has activated, he has four types, it costs six, so it's it costs two in the end. So if I play Celestus, it doesn't do anything. If I play Wedding Announcement, even more. So let's go with Celestus. Not a great hand so far. Not against their deck, but we'll try to make it work. It will be hard, the best strategy is to counter Atraxa, but you need blue for this one. So yeah, we need to work for it. Absolutely work for it. Do we need the Exile effect? Not really. Not really. I will try to be a little bit more aggressive. aggressive. And we go like this, because this will be the Emperor, probably. They also don't have counter spells. I could go with wedding announcement, I guess. Just to flip it faster and get uh, the anthem effect. That's uh, that's a legit point. Invasion of Zendikar. Nothing we can do about it. Let's give him the choice of lands. I mean, Atrax is coming on the next turn and it's not looking super hot. I guess expel the interlopers will be pretty okay because we can name six and just kill Atraxa. That's, that was his turn, of course. So we try to create some pressure, but usually they are really good at answering it. They also have Archangels, so you know. So I think we are going for the ultimate. I wish the tapper did something different, uh, but he's fully tapped, so we can just mess the ordering fully. Alright, I will keep drawing cards and try to force the ultimate, because that is something that actually can work. And I need to go super wide, otherwise I'm not creating enough pressure. Let's get rid of the planes. This is why Farmhand and Celestus is really good. It's really hard to win this kind of matchup if you don't have counter spells. Here comes the Sandfall. Unfortunately, he also has two mana for the token, which uh, is a bit problematic. But we can make it work. We'll have Wedding Announcement into Wedding Announcement, a lot of tokens, and we go from there. Let's draw a card. We just need to go for... Oh, that's a card! That is a card. Alright, well, I want uh, to have a lot of blockers and I want to make my deck a little bit better. Uh, I can Wedding Announcement. Yeah, that's the play. He has something, but it might just be this. 
and I want to keep the Emperor. She is important. Let's go for Fortress, because that's why we played kind of like this. And I mean, we see he transforms, he will attack, and let's see if he can kill both of the creatures and uh, threaten the Sorin. I think Sorin is something he might be fearing. But he has Ley Knight, so we probably won't get to ultimate, but it's still worth a shot, you know? Alright, ready to go. I think we go like this, right? We cannot kill it, so we just Chumpy. And we'll have more tokens on the next turn. Let's see if that's the Ley Line. He might still have the Ley Line and just try to bait a good block for him, because we wouldn't probably block on the face. Let's see, let's see. Not fully convinced. Man, Satra man, Atraxa games are always so so long and so hard. Of course, they didn't play her so far, which is already pretty good, to be honest. And he has the Mirax token. Ashok, alright. Ashok is no joke. Ashok is no joke. We definitely want Mirax. I think we go for the sweeper, right? We have three mana, so we play wedding announcement. I should probably name uh, use emperor first. My bad. Let's read the card. Power greater or equal, or equal. Let's go for three. All right, his board is gone. My board is cool. And that's how we like it. Let's keep drawing some cards, which probably I should start with, let's be honest. And we go like this. I should order it differently, but I don't think it's super matter, so I'll just go with it. He will have a might. That's probably his only play, right? And that's it. Alright! <laughs> What are you? Uh, exile the two, two cards of target opponent's library. You may look at and play those cards. Both of them? Really? That's so mean. This is so mean. Flying trample. Sure. Nearly a gold spam dragon. <laughs> Nearly. And here is Dark Angel. On the bright side, it's super expensive, uh, especially if he wants to hit Sorin with it. Probably one tick is enough. Second should go to Emperor, I would say. Correct. Until next uh, time because again. he probably gets a different answer. I, I wonder what he stole from me. <laughs> I don't feel extremely comfortable with this situation. We need to start doing removal. I mean, removal for Archangel of Rap, right? I wasn't specific, it seems. Nothing on any and how are we doing it? How are we doing it? Do I want to draw the cards? Or Yeah, probably cards are okay. Cutdown doesn't really do anything. Uh, Lant? No. We just want Mirex, right? One, two. So if we want to go double Mirex, we don't do really anything more. If, he if we attack, he just blocks one of the cards. But I want to draw those cards, man. I really want. So let's waste our weakest creatures. And unfortunately we are not getting Archangel, but we might get uh, go for the frog. I could kill it and prevent the life gain, but I still hope there might be some different target. We will see. And playing Ashok here is probably not great. We can also, I think, cycle one of the cards, right? We didn't play anything. Did I do it in time? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I did not. Do I want to do Stroke of Midnight on this? Not yet. Not yet. Let's take the card. Those are some decent draws. I think I need the land. Land is always important in this kind of game. Yep. Sorin will stay here, my friend. Uh, we only get one Mirex token then, but it's it's worth it. So cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Alright, so what is the play? He's still having our stuff, which I do not like. Sampo, it is. We have Stroke of Midnight, but it's getting a bit uncomfortable. 
So far it's not a Traxa deck, but it has everything except a Traxa. Is this a Sun for target? Not really. Not really, but we really want to protect Sorin, I guess. And with Stroke and Sunfall we could. I still create a broken. If we hit some good removal and we really should, it might be very worthwhile. Alright, not hitting it. Uh, let's draw some cards with Sorin. Alright, uh, I, I see, I see. Blood for knowledge, a fair trade. Maybe I just kill it. But then he, he kills the other thing. Not looking super out, man. A bit awkward on every step. Also cost a lot of mana. I guess. I'm not loving this play. It feels pretty awful, but it is what it is. Do we go for Ashok? No, because we need 3 mana, right? Alright. I mean, we have this, so we could potentially double block. So we probably will try it, right? We use 2 mana for double block, then we keep 3 when he uses removal on one of ours. And then we stroke of midnight, so he, he doesn't really gain anything. And he's using mana he didn't want to use. Man, what are those cards? I, uh, like, it's stressing me out when I see my own cards for 7 turns. Is it like Kaya or something like, you know, this caliber? Very, very careful taps. Oh, but you, you may look at and play those cards. But you cannot cast uh, them using, you know, like any mana will work. You actually need the correct mana for it. Go for the throat, sure. You got it. One of the card. So that's why I don't have my go for the throat. <laughs> I see. I see. What would you say if something like this happened? It's your favorite human. I know you like it. Alright, and let's see. He has what? 4 5 mana, right? He can use Mirex or a play. Let's activate. I still don't think it's a problem. We throw the card, I think. Still. That's a very good draw. That is a very good draw. So it means we can play the planes. And we probably will go with Ashok on, on this point. Do we exile? Or minus two? I think we just keep doing more cards. Even if he has Leyline, which he really should with this kind of deck, I will still get some value. Let's see what we can exile. Yeah, go for the throat will still be useful. So it's Emperor and go for the throat. Which means we can start being a little bit aggressive and see if he maybe plays Emperor, maybe he plays something else, maybe that's my Emperor. You never know, man. You never know. Yeah, I should definitely... Uh, in, in his place, I would definitely not do it. Man, that was really my Emperor. Please stop stealing my stuff, bro. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I should know. I'm a Siphon Inside player, but man, it's infuriating. All of my stuff gone. My judgment is final. So I think we go like this. Our tokens are much stronger than his. Like triple wedding and also, uh, yeah, wedding festivity, I guess, uh, like does a lot of difference here. Like every our creature is super oversized for for the cost, right, Goosey? We didn't talk for a while. Uh, that's that's not good. We we need to bond together a little bit. The invasion of Zendikar sure doesn't really do much. Uh, as long as he doesn't have infinite cardo, 
it's fine. I like when he doesn't have a Traxa because it feels like, uh, you know, fair match, to be honest. <laughs> because uh, with a Traxa, he just never runs out of cards, so it means that you cannot play the normal game of trying to be efficient and, you know, all this stuff. Because he can be as inefficient as possible, he's just getting five new cards every three turns. Alright. Let's kill it. And that should be something that he doesn't really like. And he can be at pretty low HP right now. No haste. Pretty cool. Alright. Uh, do we have something like Kaya in the graveyard? No. No. This deals 3 damage and it can also drain at the same time, so that's pretty cool. I think we go for it. I think we have to use it while we can, because that creates way more pressure now. And I think we'll try to go with this. Ordering is horrible on my part, but it's fine. Exile one of them. Those are good cards. But at least I get good ultimate with, uh, with Ashok, right? So I'm kinda fine with it. Alright, here here's the removal. Bro, can you freaking stop stealing my stuff? I really, really, really need it. He wanted to hit go for the throats, it seems. So I can attack like this for maximum damage, or kinda maximum damage. Uh, we probably really want to kill the Emperor. Alright, we are going to the damage, it seems. Down to six. Down to six. We can use one Mirex, but that's it. And one go for the throat, I guess. You know what? I'll take it. I think it's okay. Still 19 cards. Alright, Heart Migration. Man, game is really close. Alright, he already had blue. Uh, I will stop drawing cards. I don't feel super comfortable and I kinda have enough place, I hope, for now. Might be a slight mistake, but I think I, I have every turn way to use all of my mana very easily. Here's Ashok. Sure. Man, not knowing what the card is is pretty huge. Uh, we do not care about this part too much Go though. And drink deep of sorrow. All right. He's going hard, man. He is going pretty hard. We are going to combat. Nothing was exiled, which is good. And now the question. Let's go to the end. Let's make a stop just in case. All right. So do we go for Emperor or Mirex? Emperor seems better, right? I mean, like, strictly better. And let's start to kill some Nightmares. Like, we need to clear this board manually, basically. Uh, let's create F4-4. And go from there. Uh, I will take this one, though. I need good cards. I'm not getting them. I need some removal, man. Alright. I see. Uh, how many you exile? 14. Only 14. Not exactly what I want. I could get wedding announcement, but it's not amazing. Uh, let's start pumping the Sorin again. Revere. That's a lot of damage. Alright. Alright, guys. So we have three creatures. We can kill Ashok if they don't have literally anything, which is usually not the case. But I still think we are going with Emperor here. We are not ultimating yet, right? It's only 14 cards. So we will try to hit... Man, I'm burning through, through library a lot. This is a really good draw because we, I exile the expensive card and I get a nice cut down. So I think this draw really helps us. If I play this, I don't have mana for Fortress. So I think I won't play it. 
fortress go. I think that's a good deal. All right. <laughs> it's rough. Do we just go face? Right? He blocks what? He blocks here. So it's five, eight damage. It's eight damage. Did I miss Leafar? I, I for sure miss Leafar somewhere. It's fine. So I kind of want to kill Ashok then, which means he blocks the face. Alright, not super happy, but I think that's how we need to, to play it out. One Mirex token and probably one Virtue. Yep, at least we killed Ashok, that's something. But very awkward situation. And I don't think I need to pump the board. Man, I need to kill him quickly. And we only drew one fortress during the whole game, which is wild. And he is stealing our cards more and more. He really likes our deck more than he likes his. But I, I'm fine with it. 33. I wish the number on Ashok has shown. 19 cards. Not yet. Not yet. But we are getting there, slowly but surely. Not sure why this Ashok is in the graveyard. Definitely something bad happened to him. Alright. He he doesn't really want to cast those dragons at all. Is there like a hidden combo or something? Heart migration. Alright, that might be good for us. That's a super heavy tap. And here's the ley line. So probably Ashok, right? But that means we can just go for pure damage. I think we can win this. I think we can win this if we play it right. Well, the wedding announcement token hurts a little bit though. Right, I think we can go with this. That's a 3-3. That's a huge creature. We already matched his board. And I think we can still draw cards. Let's see what we get. It might be meaningful. Uh, it's not. Probably restless, restless fortress. Twenty nine cards. I can also go for in. No, no. Ashek will take a while. All right. All right. Let's go for samurai. Strike fast and strike. Let's attack and see how much damage he lets through. I should activate the fortress, that's that's a misplay. I think I have for Kaya, yeah. I could activate the fortress and still go for Kaya, so that's a big mistake. But don't roast me, it's fine. We'll try to make it work anyway. This block suggests a sweeper on the next turn. How many sunfalls do I have? Uh, one, two, three. Hmm. Wonder what their last card is. Double block here, sure. Very interesting block. All right. If I attack with fortress, I guess he would just uh, chomp block it. So I just missed only two damage probably and one heal here. So not the worst, especially that I can use all the mana for Mirex. And let's go with Kaya because we can start draining him. And that was enough. Told you, it was close. Man, I didn't play it optimally, but I think we did good enough job in the end. All right, some quality shuffler gameplay <laughs> for for white mana, zero black mana makes perfect sense. And we're against control, so very. I honestly will play it now because if he plays a land, he can make disappear the whole thing, and I won't like it. Oh, that's the deck. I got really lucky because that's the perfect card. And we have to kill Virtuoso, right? Otherwise it's really bad. Uh, he doesn't really want to pump this one. Sure, enjoy bro. You can pump as much as you want. <laughs> what do you do? Lifelink? Bro, come on. It doesn't matter. 
at all. So we will go with wedding announcement before it uh, because it flips faster this way. He, he could have untapped with blue mana. Sleep out the back. Man, if he strategies making this human super big, <laughs> it won't work, man. Uh, you need to draw cards for this to for this deck to work. So so far it's looking very good for us. I want to have more pressure on the board, so we will go like this. And given I do not care about this human at all, then he he's just forcing my hand. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Quality gaming, right there. Right there. This is exactly how you play Virtuoso the deck. Everything went exactly right. The point is that he wasted. Oh my god! I think that he's just, uh, you know, slingering all the car. Yeah, like it felt like, oh, I hate my life. This kind of gameplay. <laughs> that was the most ridiculous game I have played, but it was really fun so also. Oh man, is this a normal hand? The legendary, normal hand. Uh, with farm hand, man, it always feels better when you have those la two lands and a farm hand. And then wedding announcement, and the wedding announcement. Unfortunately, we are playing against blue deck somehow, instantly. And that's not perfect because they have make disappear, so we won't get the cards. That's rough because every color that isn't blue uh, would just need to answer with three cards. But what can you do? I guess I could go for the for the knight. Knight, you good? I will test him because I can double play if he if he doesn't counter it. He actually counters the mana rock. All right, not some bold play. And another counter spell it seems. How many do you have? How many do you have? Only one. Used maybe on the wrong thing so i didn't expect him to counter it so i wanted to play this into the knight so i kind of drum already all right sure that was always a little bit annoying but not super annoying and we can go for double wedding announcement and that's the mirror so it means we can go just super white and it's fine nah I still think we'll try to play it at instant speed. Like, we'll have huge board, and I don't think he has a good way to answer it. That's pretty, pretty smart idea. That's pretty smart. Do we try to go for it? Quadra block? Probably not. So I think we just go like this. So smart attack by him. I don't want to try to contest this whole, you know, aggression. Here's Kaito. So now we play this, uh, simply because he has one mana right now and he wants to draw a card and there hit a land drop, right? I don't think he played a land for the turn. No he didn't. Alright, and we have Sorin. This is quite important stuff. He cannot counter it. We are attacking with one creature. We deal a little bit of damage, but I mean, this will be a big board, man. I mean, that's way bigger board than the last turn. And that's what you get when you tap out blue mana. No attacking anymore? All right, let's see. He might play a sweeper. This seems to be a like super controlish deck, so I, I expect him to have some way to sweep the board, right? So we need to be careful, especially Path of Pearl is really this, like, devastating to us right now. Absolutely devastating. Not sure how we play it out. I think we'll just go with uh, Sorin and see how it goes. Alright, we're getting the card, that's good. And we'll draw a card. Please no 7 drop. Really? They always need to hit between 5 and 7 drop with Sorin? Oh boy, that's rough. That is really rough. Do I really go for it? 
I might die, man. I will decline. I will actually decline. Oh boy, that was harsh. So we go like this, right? And then uh, let's keep two blockers. They are kinda important. So let's force possibly some removal. He gets one free trade here. And let's see the card. Alright, we killed Kaito, that's that's important. That helps a little bit. Let's draw a card. <laughs> you sneaky sneaky. Alright. We might get Kaya and steal the show. Maybe that's the plan. Addict on Sorin, sure. That was all on the end step. Oh man, that's rough. That's rough. The fact when you cannot remove Shard, the whole game just be. Look at this di difference. You know why there is this 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 difference. I cannot even speak. That's how uh, horrified I am at Shard. All right, but our virtual loyalty is doing some serious work right now. We draw a card. That is an interesting card. Alright, let's see. And when he starts to race with Shardet, I will just play the Emperor and see how it goes. I could also Sunfall, but if he has a counter spell, I die. I also have Steel Vigilance, right? And I'm pumping every creature every turn. Alright. A bit scary. So he probably will want to draw some cards. If he activates the ability, he draws a lot of cards and life gains a lot. So, sure that not attacking, we have to spare mana. That's pretty good trade. We started this fight, but I'm going to end it. Sure. Is that good? I mean, he's tapping and he's not drawing two cards, like this is symmetric effect, the sure that makes a little bit difference, but that's it, and I just got my Kaya land. And we will probably... What do we discard? Definitely not Mex, not Kaya. Sunfall seems just simply better in this situation. He still keeps the counter spell, so that's something to consider. He definitely wants to block this guy. Uh, I mean, kill this guy. Remember your train. We play land, so we could attack with the fortress. It will be what? 3 something? 3 5? 3 6. Dealing 5 damage total. I mean, that's, that's good. But I think we just go for the damage. Because he has to tap out, right? And we are not going for Liliana. And then we still show that. Alright, cool. So, I wouldn't be able to kill him. Because then I would be tapped out. Uh, so, either Sanfo to go for Shaw. Nah, Kaya seems just better. And we also don't use Kaya. Uh, because she has three loyal loyalty. And our short is somehow a 4 4. It should be 1 1. Alright, and the tables have turned. Can you kill me? Can you deal this missing 2 damage? I mean, uh, he needs to go for Charlotte, but I assume that he can somehow. Alright, this will be a token. <laughs> it won't be Charlotte, don't you worry. And he needs to answer a lot of stuff, man. I don't think he can, but theoretically, he has the cards to do so. And he can make a triple play. Alright. Very close. <laughs> but how are you killing me? So, he just wants to trade, so the life total is in his, you know, in his favor a little bit. But that should not work. So, we activate the Restless Fortress. We pump it. 
and we pump the Kaya and that's a leaper and that's why the Manland is pretty good man that was a wild game it was so close all right so last game we had only planes now we will have only swamps I sure why not why not right let's see if we're good at magic to draw one land uh, so far we aren't cutdown is decent uh, but we need to hit the land or we lose cool all right jadar out and we take our damage for the day and it still won't matter unless we hit the land so we lost <laughs> and that was a great game of magic <laughs> Uh, to be fair, there is some shock because we have things like fair ones, but losing full turn while your opponent just develops whatever he has is really bad. Great, I really enjoy this game. Alright, opponent goes first. We have Celestus, so we can recover a little bit. This is, of course, a good turn one play. We'll go with the farmhand into Celestus. And we need to stop drawing clans. We really need to stop drawing clans right now. I guess we have Celestus, so it's not so bad we can, because we can just cycle them. But it would be better to like draw Kaya, this kind of stuff. If, like farewell as well. It would be, it would be helpful. That would be interesting. That will be interesting, because we can play Ashok on the next turn, so it really depends if he will have an Addict or not. This takes a while before it pumps. It needs 4, right? If it has exactly 4. Oh boy, oh, I absolutely love it. My friend, I can keep discarding all day long. Alright, start the thing and see if he has the addict. Uh, we could go for the creatures. But it's not good. Alright, exile one of them. I think Emperor is really nice here. And even getting one loyalty out of Liliana is meaningful. At least a little bit. With loyalty our creatures will grow very quickly. Sure, <laughs> man, he really doesn't like my cards, but I, I don't mind discarding, I actually like it. It won't get counter, right? It has to be combat damage to a player, indeed. You won't be sure. Me. I mean, we are losing a lot, but we are basically trading our lands for this kind of stuff, so I'm absolutely fine with it. And now, we have a cool situation where we can just go white there is no waking from these nightmares. this means card will get exiled so the tokens will grow and uh, we will go to combat perfect you can see that our board suddenly became uh, pretty cool you know what's the cool trick not really, <laughs> not really. Uh, let's keep attacking. See if there's a reaction. He didn't kill Ashok so far, so I think uh, Ashok should survive. And now uh, Wandering Emperor for the win. Because that was his last chance. And I mean, he needs Puff of Peril, something huge like this. And we still have the Virtue of Loyalty. So those nightmares are really, really giving him a lot of trouble. If he wants to keep trading card for card, it won't be pretty. So the cool play was that you can have one of the nightmare tokens uh, pumped and the second one isn't. And then the farmhand has easier, you know, convoke a little bit. Uh, let's go for the farmhand. Oh, right, right, right. Far one, interesting. Not a lot of damage, so I'm fine with it. Let's go with Ashok. Uh, we exile a lamp. We take the wedding announcement. We cannot really get stuff. We can kill Liliana, and that's something we will have to do. Uh, 
Even though this will be huge, I still think it's a correct split because this the other one has vigilance and that's pretty huge. Let's try to kill Liliana. By the way, I see green mana. Oh, he's not mana black. <laughs> Took me a while. Alright, it's super late in the evening, alright? I want to record and I cannot go sleep before I do it. So I'm just I, I'm just a little bit tired, but that's fine. Like I I didn't miss anything important, right? Just half of his deck. So how are we doing it? I honestly think this is a sample. Uh, because if we answer sure that he has only one card, I mean two, but pretty much one. And we have double planeswalker, so it's not like he can recover from this. Yep, and he knows it. Uh, pretty unfortunate on his side, I guess. He had some pressure, but yeah, definitely he missed his part. I will say that no, because he missed uh, one of his colors. All right, guys, so right, let's talk about the final impressions for the deck. Is it good? Honestly, it seems that Planeswalkers or of decks perform pretty well right now. I like this version. Like, I've been playing with a different decks. I've been trying some Demir decks, some different of. So I started with a very different of deck here. Uh, and a lot of things seem to not work. Uh, this one definitely felt like it's working. It has a lot of ramp. It has early game. It has very good mid game. It has answers to creatures that are hard to match, man. From sweepers up to seven removals for one or two mana. Wedding announcement really is a huge card for the deck. The fact that you can anthem everything makes all the difference. Then this becomes a 3-3 three, three or a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, the nightmares become huge. Like even Sorin tokens, when they are 4-5, man, <laughs> not a lot of decks can answer them very often. So yeah, the wedding announcement just gives this huge power to the deck that everything you have is meaningful especially with restless fortress one of my favorite cards lately man not only the art is absolutely cool but also it just scales with all the anthem effects it drains your opponent it gains you life if you are playing against aggro and you want to stabilize it's a great planeswalkers removal and just going for lethal with this one is very very nice so yeah i like the deck i think it has a lot of going a lot of things going Going for it. Uh, Kaya seems necessary. I originally thought that Ashok should be enough, but yes, yeah, sometimes against control decks you need something more powerful. And as you probably have seen during the game, when Kaya comes, uh, they leave, <laughs> which is a good recommendation. So I really like the deck. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's quite solid but also you also have you know those new cars that make it interesting uh, i also try to expel the interlopers uh, you don't get the exile effect so it's a bit risky in some of the games you might not like the full sweep effect however choosing the number especially in a token deck that basically every creature is one power or two power is pretty huge because it can be a wide one-sided sweeper and in some games it was so the card is interesting i think it has some potential but man the exile effect gone and no token means that you probably don't want to play too many because that might cost you the game so this is my honest impression. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, but you, you are probably already subscribed. So thank you for that. That's uh, really cool. And I'm really tired, so I'm going to sleep and have fun, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you tomorrow.